Hello there and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, get started with the Vault Warden. Vault Warden is basically an open source version or free version of the Bitwarden client which is a password manager. So we are going to use Docker in order to install it. And uh, after installation, I'm going to show you how you can use your clients with this custom image. All right, just remind us later, please. And open up a terminal. Let me make it bigger so that you can see it. Unnamed. custom font make it 18 all right now you should be able to see it so first what we would like to do is to acquire a sudo prompt and then install some dependencies so these are basic dependencies that are necessary to be installed and After the installation is complete, what we need to do is to download the GPG key for Docker. And after it was downloaded, we need to add the repository for Docker. And then we can use the apt-get update command to update our Linux distribution and then install the docker agent so now let's get update and apt get install docker ce docker ce cli and container d.io so once we have downloaded this and installed, we can enable the Docker and run the service as well. So let's wait for it to complete. Our APT, no, systemctl enable dash dash now docker and if we should the docker ps and we see this output we have successfully completed the task so we use the docker pool to pull the server latest of what warden then we are going to create uh, one directory and adjust the privileges. So mkdir srv vault warden and chmod go dash rwx srv vault warden. Now we can run the daemon. So basically this is the command that we use. And uh, <coughs> this directory is needed for persistent storage. So we want the stored credentials and whatnot to survive between the restarts of the, uh, the container. And now if we go to the Firefox and hit the HTTP 127.0.0.1.8080 we can see that the Bitwarden web page opens for us and we can create an account and my name is Daniel and what can it be is the reminder that's fine. So now 
it seems like our container is running and if we ls the SRV Vault Warden, you will see that we have the SQLite database and the RSA key is created by the container and we could add a new item, so to speak. Whatever admin admin and save this. So now what we can do or should do is to go to the Vault Warden GitHub page and click on the upstream Bitwarden clients on the Linux one, oh, not this one, but rather the dev package. Okay. And now we should be able to open up the folder, copy the downloads. Yeah, this is not supported. Then go to the home username downloads and issue the dpkg-i bitwarden debian. Now this is going to install our client and if we go for the bitwarden and start it on the login page you see these gears you change the server URL to this one. Of course, this is not going to work from a remote host. For that, you may want to use a reverse proxy or something to uh, allow the traffic to find its way from the outside world. But this is currently for demonstration. And let's see if I can log in. What? And voila. There we go. So basically that's it. That's how you can install it and use it. And uh, if you want, uh, you can also use like caddy reverse proxy to configure it. And this is going to use uh, Let's Encrypt to create an SSL package and whatnot and uh, encrypt your traffic. So technically that was all I wanted to show you in this video. See you in the next one.